Hello everyone. I am Sanjit. Uh, I, I have completed my uh, BE Computer Science and Engineering in Kundu Engineering College, Perindrai. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, about uh, uh, brain stroke identification using deep learning. Uh, my team members are Poomundran and Pranesh and guided by uh, Ms. C. Sh Sharmila. Next slide. Uh, let us see about what is deep Deep learning is a part of uh, machine learning methods based on uh, artificial neural networks with representation learning. The adjective deep in deep learning refers to the use of uh, multiple layers in the network. For example, in uh, image processing, lower layers may identify edges while uh, higher layers may identify with, uh, the concepts relevant to a human such as digits or uh, letter surfaces. Next slide. These are all the steps in deep learning in which we get the data and we'll uh, manipulate the data. And uh, as a third step, we'll uh, train the model and uh, as well as we test the uh, data and then we will improve the gained accuracy. Next slide. Um, this one was our uh, project overview. Um, this research, uh, the main aim of this research is to uh, um, emphasize the huge impact of deep learning models in brain stroke detection and lesion segmentation. Deep learning techniques have a significant impact on a diagnosis uh, and uh, prediction of a stroke. The medical field also uh, have a great benefits from uh, use uh, from the use of uh, improving deep learning models, uh, which saves the time and as well as produce the uh, accurate results. Next slide. This one was the literature uh, survey. Uh, this one uh, we have uh, given the title of the paper author uh, and the algorithm they have used and the accuracy of that uh, particular paper. Uh, next slide. In the existing system, uh, they have used uh, DWA data set. They have used dense net model in the existing system and they have gained an accuracy of uh, 90 percentage. Next slide. So problem state statement. Uh, the treatment of acute uh, uh, isomic stroke uh, uh, it has uh, uh, it must be uh, predicted uh, uh, soonly as well as uh, possible and uh, uh, we must uh, uh, produce uh, better treatment for the patients uh, there is a great significant uh, clinical significance in the study of uh, automatic identification um, there is an urgent need for a faster uh, more accurate automatic uh, lesion segmentation methods uh, which ensures that uh, more patients can be treated with a short period. Due to the significant number of uh, 3D unit parameters, it is difficult uh, to train the model with insufficient training data. Next slide. Uh, next slide will be uh, explained by Poomundran. Proposed idea. Yeah. The input images is get from the user. And after the images is sliced into by using slicing, after that it is arranged by using the stacking process and the fusion technique by using 2D images converted into using fusion technique by 3D images after we detect the brain stroke identification. Next slide. That is it. Acute lesson segmentation is the critical for the stroke rehabilitation for the both quantification of the lesson burden and acute processing. In this data set, we are using Atlas data set. That means anatomical raisings of lesson after stroke is an open source data collection by using a magnetic image, a magnetic resonance imaging. We implemented six possible validation on the anatomical raisings of the lesson after stroke to validate our methods and metrics. This paper is focuses on how to acutely segmented 3D image lesions, MRI images of the isochemic stroke. Many studies previously used 3D unit models to capture the 3D segmentation contextual information in three directions by 3D convolutional operation to achieve high precision segmentation. However, due to the significant number of 3D unit parameters, it is difficult to train the models with insufficient training data. At the same time, the huge amount of the parameters also lead to the unaffordable computation and storage requirements, which made 3D unit to be avoided as much as possible recently. Next slide. The images is partially um, classified into three axial plane waves, sagittal plane waves, and coronal plane waves. Each image, each brain MRI scan is um, nearly 200 slices in one plane direction, and the graphical feature of these slices from the 
different brains or regions are different this can lead to the diffi- difficulties in representation and insufficient representation by using these models considering that the among these brains places many adjacent places of uh, graphical similarities in some regions putting places that are graphically similar together for the training and the prediction can greatly improve the segmentation and the representability of these places this benefit arises because the feature of these slices can each model focuses on more specific after that we get um, these are the parts of the uh, past uh, stacking prediction question mm. first of all uh, images is split uh, into the three plane wise after that uh, images are predicted uh, predicted and uh, arranged into the stacking process finally we get the soft sorting technique uh, to find where the brain stock has occurred unit uh, yeah, unit is mainly used for biomedical image segmentation and is developed for that uh, purpose only uh, the, the unit is a convolutional neural network architecture that expands uh, with a few changes in cnn architecture uh, the unit is a improved uh, network architecture have shown tremendous success in segmentation of various biomedical images such as liver skin lesion uh, kidney and so on uh, it uses symmetric encoder and uh, decoder structure Uh, this slide would be explained by sandeep uh, yeah this one was uh, improved attention unit uh, this one was the architecture of that uh, improved attention unit uh, first we'll uh, take the input image and uh, we'll uh, do the following process and uh, we'll uh, get the output image in the output image you can see we we'll accurately have predicted the uh, stroke lesions and uh, Uh, improved attention unit is nothing but it is mainly used for uh, improving the accuracy in the image processing next next slide uh, the modules of our project are collection of data set pre processing the images uh, image segmentation uh, at last uh, stroke identification uh, this is our accuracy graph we got the accuracy of uh, 98.2 percentage this is our last graph Uh, uh, this is our final output of uh, our project at first we will uh, give input uh, input of uh, mri scanned images with the mask image uh, uh, and then we will do some color correction and some other process using unit architecture and we will got the final output of uh, binary prediction uh, yeah that's uh, this all the reference uh, we have the for Thank you.